In this video, we're going to look at Stackelberg, but this time we're going to incorporate the market shares conjectural variation. So here's the setup. In a market, there are two firms that produce differentiated goods. Firm 1 is the leader and sets its output before Firm 2. Firm 2 desires to always maintain a one-third share of the total market output. Firm 1 is fully informed about Firm 2's strategy and considers that information when maximizing profit. So the total market output is going to be Firm 1's output plus Firm 2's output. Firm 2's share of the total market output is going to be Firm 2's output divided by the total market output. And Firm 2 desires that this total market share equals one-third. So one-third share then for Firm 2. You can set this equation equal to one-third. And now let's just solve this for Q subscript 2, Firm 2's output. So solving for Q subscript 2. I'm not showing all the steps here, but if you were to solve this equation for Q subscript 2, you'd get that Firm 2's output will equal one-half Firm 1's output. And this will always maintain a one-third market share for Firm 2. So Firm 1 is going to be the market leader, setting its output first. Here is the inverse demand for Firm 1. And here is Firm 1's total cost of production. And Firm 2's information is as follows. So let's set up Firm 1's profit function. Total revenue minus total cost. For P subscript 1, we're going to incorporate and plug in Firm 1's inverse demand. So do that right here. And then we subtract out Firm 1's cost. Again, the key thing here is that Firm 1 knows that Firm 2 will adjust its output to maintain its desired market share of one-third. And that is incorporated by this equation that we solved on the first slide. For example, if Firm 1, the market leader, produces 10 units of output, Firm 2, the follower, will respond by producing 5 units. So if you plug 10 in for Q subscript 1, Firm 2 will produce 5 units to, make, to maintain one-third of the market share. So just plugging those numbers into our market share equation from the first slide, and then does indeed equal one-third. So what we're going to do now is where we see this Q subscript 2 here in Firm 1's profit function, we're going to replace that with this 0.5 Q subscript 1, making that substitution. And now we're going to maximize. Got uh, one equation with one choice variable, so we're going to take the derivative of this profit function with respect to Firm 1's output. Get back the following derivative result. Simplifying here. And just dividing through by 10, Firm 1 will produce 10 units of output. And if Firm 1 produces 10 units of output, Firm 2 will respond by producing, plugging that into this equation over here, producing 5 units of output. And in this case, Firm 2 does maintain one-third share of the market. In terms of the prices, we're going to take the inverse demand for Firm 1 and evaluate it at each firm's level of output. Firm 1 will charge a price of $75 each, and Firm 2 will charge a price of $70 each. Okay, that's it.